Hi guys, I'm coming to you from Stowe, Vermont. Gold Brook Bridge is behind me. A lot of people here know it is Emily's Covered Bridge and there's a reason why. I'm gonna tell you that haunting story here in just a minute. Let's go make some memories. Special shout out to our channel members. Thank you so much for all your support. If you would like to become a channel member, hit that join button down below. There are some really fun benefits. Come have a look. Thanks for watching. So this bridge was built in 1844 to carry what came to be known as Covered Bridge Road over the Gold Brook. And now it has the name of Emily's Bridge. It's a single lane, 50 foot long bridge. It has a wooden frame, it's dark and weathered. And it was here that a legend took place. A girl with a broken heart took her own life here. And this is what happened. And we're gonna walk you through the bridge, so keep watching. In the mid 1800s, Emily was supposed to meet her lover here at what was then called Go Gold Brook Bridge and they were going to elope. When Emily, I mean when he, when he never showed up, Emily took her own life and hung herself from the rafters above is the way the legend says. It says, in the ghost stories that have followed, Emily has become a very vengeful ghost. It says that she, people who drive through this bridge get claw-like gouges down the sides of their cars. And there's other ghastly stories where people sometimes hear strange voices coming from inside this short tunnel. Interestingly enough, it's not just called Emily's Bridge by supernatural enthusiasts. The people in this area have actually taken to it and they sell merchandise with the name of Emily's Bridge. So if this legend is to be believed, Emily took her life here when her man never showed up. It looks very indistinct, you know, it's just nothing seems spectacular about it. It's just a covered bridge. We just walked through it. I didn't hear anything. I didn't feel anything weird. The car went through it basically the same time as me and they don't have any gouges on it. It just says speed, speed limit, horses at a walk, motor vehicles no more than 10 miles per hour, no trucks or buses allowed, even though we saw a UPS truck go through it. And it says pre-order selectman. I don't have no idea what that means. No clue. All right, I'm gonna walk back through the bridge again. Traffic's really heavy for some reason here today. Normally this bridge is pretty empty. I'm gonna walk on the other side this time. So it is believed that Emily hung herself from these rafters. That's the way the legend goes of this bridge. That's the way the story goes. That's what the legend tells. Is the legend true? We don't know. We don't know, but is it true? Did Emily take her life in here? Who was the guy that never showed up? We only know her name. What was his name? Who was he? They say they hear voices in here. Emily! Emily! Emily? I'm not hearing anything in here, so... I don't know. Maybe I have to be here on a dark and foggy night. I'm here on a dark and rainy day. That should count for something, right? But all right, so this is gonna wrap up our quick visit here to Emily's Covered Bridge in the Stowe, Vermont area. Is the legend true? I don't know, I didn't feel anything weird. I didn't notice anything weird. Seems like life's just continuing on like normal here. If there was an Emily, I'm sorry that that happened to you, but stop haunting everybody, all right? If you like this type of video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. You ever been to this bridge or across it? We already drove across it once. We're about to go back and our car came out perfect. If Emily doesn't get us, we will see you soon.